Okay, hey guys. Today's video, as we know, is a holiday makeup tutorial. And it's been a minute since I have done a tutorial, which is why I jumped at the chance to work with Chanel on this tutorial. And we both really wanted to do something fun for the holidays that was glamorous, but also natural and elegant. So this is what I came up with. I love a bold liner and this is a long wear lip that will not transfer. So I thought that was really fun. I didn't want to go with the classic red lip. I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. So this is all about the eyes today and I am really excited to get into it. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've linked all of the products I've used in this video in the description below along with my Instagram and my TikTok. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials or leave me a comment below on what you would like to see, makeup or not. And what are you guys doing for Christmas this year? I think it might be the first year that my fiance and I are getting a Christmas tree. I'm not sure, but I'm really excited about it. I really wanted to make this video luxurious, so I wanted to start out with the Chanel Revitalizing Eye Mask, and I've just had this on for about 15 minutes. I keep them in the fridge, and it's so refreshing. It helps with puffiness and dark circles, and I'm just going to peel these off here. Prepping my skin, I'm using the La Solution 10 de Chanel and the Le Blanc de Chanel. This is a illuminating base. And I love mixing this with moisturizer or with foundation. So I'm just mixing that and warming it up between my hands. And then I'm going to press it on to my skin. This is going to give me a really nice dewy glow and also prep my skin for the rest of my makeup. Also going in with this lip treatment before we get started, this is an exfoliating lip treatment. So it's really just going to leave our lips soft because I think later I might use a long wear lipstick. And this will really help prep your lips for that. For foundation, I'm using the Healthy Glow Foundation from Chanel. This is a hydrating and long wear foundation that also helps to protect against pollution. And I'm just going to use a brush here to add a light layer kind of all over my skin here. So one of the things I really love about this foundation is that of every foundation that I own, it looks the most like your skin when you apply it. Uh, the hydrating aspect of it also gives you that beautiful dewy glow to your skin and I think really helps add to that natural look. Plus it has those anti-pollution properties, which never hurts. I love any extra protection I can put on my skin. Then I'm just gonna go in here with a beauty sponge and just kind of pat over so that it has that really airbrushed look. What I actually have been doing lately is as soon as I apply any sort of foundation, I go in with cream bronzers. These are both by Trini London and this is the Golden Glow in Gaia. So I'm going to start with this. And then I'm just going to lightly brush this on my face. I'm not doing a cheekbone yet. I'm just kind of warming up the outside of my face here. And then going in with a second color from Trini. This is their cheekbone color in Kate. And this is a really cold toned color and it just creates the most beautiful shadow on your cheekbones. I've been using this almost every single day since I got it and I just absolutely love it. You definitely need to blend it out a lot. So I just like to put it only on the cheekbone and then to define my jawline here, using an Ofra eyebrow pencil, I'm just filling in whatever little holes that I have here. Going really light on the brows today because I want this to kind of be a natural brow. I don't want to go too strong. Then using the Hourglass Fiber Gel and using some of this on my brows. This I would say is my favorite fiber brow gel that I have tried. I think it is so much thicker and voluminizing on your brows. If you do have thicker brows, you might find it to be too thick. Going in to a powder from Chanel's Holiday Collection, they have the most beautiful chain pattern pressed into them. This is the Or Antique, which is this beautiful gold. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to add a sheer layer of that all over my lid bringing it up into the crease here. I also wanted to mention this gold is a really beautiful color to build up, but I just really wanted this sheer wash to add other colors to. 
On top of that, I am going in with these beautiful liquid eyeshadows from Chanel. This is the color Vastness. Taking a brush and a little bit of that. A little goes a long way with this product. It is so beautiful, so blendable, and once it sets, it is not going anywhere. So I'm just adding this into my crease and blending it out a little bit, not bringing it down onto my lid at all. Now that I've built up this color here, I'm going to add a little bit more of that gold shadow. I decided that I want it to be just a tiny bit more bold on my eye. Then going in with a lighter tone of the Chanel Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the color Rayon. I'm going to use my finger and tap some of that on the inner third of my eye here. I'm just blending that with a little bit of the gold here. Laura Mercier has this really beautiful palette of shimmers. So I'm going in with the lightest color, the white, and just using that to add a little bit of shimmer on this inner corner of my eye as well. I really wanna do a winged liner with this. So I'm going to clean up the edge with a little bit of the Chanel Micellar Cleansing Water. And I'm just going to create a clean line here that I'm going to use as a guideline for my eyeliner. I'm using a liquid eyeliner pen from Chanel here to line my eyes. I really love this. The ink actually comes separately, so you twist it together to add the ink in and activate it. And I'm just going to use the guide here to create my line. I'm going to go in and make this a little bit thicker and kind of bring it into the middle of my eye. Okay, and I'm just going to repeat this on the other eye before I clean anything up. And using a little more of my cellar water, I'm just going to clean up the edges here. From here, I'm giving my lashes a quick curl and I'm going to let them sit while I do concealer. This is the Hourglass Retouching Fluid. This, again, is one of my absolute favorite products for really natural looking skin. And I'm going to add some of that to the inside here and just blending this out with a damp sponge. Another Hourglass product, I love this duo together. This is their setting powder. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this under my eyes and bring it onto my forehead and down my T-zone here. Using a pencil brush, I'm taking the darkest purple shade out of the Laura Mercier palette. And I'm adding a bit of that on my lower lash line here. So I'm using two mascaras today. This first one is the Inimitable Mascara. It is a waterproof mascara and I really, really love this brush for my lower lashes. Then for my top lashes, I'm using the Le Volume Stretch de Chanel Mascara. And this is a beautiful mascara. Chanel does such a good job with the brushes on their mascara. I feel like they're all so unique to Chanel. Moving on to blush, I'm using this one from Chanel's Holiday Collection, which also has that beautiful chain pressed into it. I've had this for a couple of weeks now and I've been using it every day religiously, so that chain print really lasts a while in there. And using a fluffy brush, I'm just adding some of that to my cheeks here, keeping it pretty high up so that it helps lift my face and bring a little bit of that onto my nose as well. So I'm gonna be completely candid here with you guys. When I first got this blush, I saw that it was an illuminating powder blush, which put me off a little bit because I don't love a shimmer or a glitter in blushes. And when I tried it on for the first time, I was shocked that it just gave me this beautiful glow. It's unlike any blush that I've tried before, which is why I've really just been using it religiously. So if that is something that makes you nervous about an illuminating blush, I highly, highly recommend this one because it just gives you the most beautiful glow. And moving on with another glowy product, it is one of my favorite highlighters. This is the Le Beige's Sheer Healthy Glow 
highlighting fluid. This was another product that I was unsure about when I first got it because it is very liquidy on the hand and that actually makes it so amazing because not only is it good to build up as a highlighter, it also makes it so easy to mix into foundation or to mix into your moisturizer if you just want a hint of a glow. Even using it on your body, it makes it such a multi-use product and I've just fallen in love with it. I also think it packs a lot more punch than it looks like it does. And I'm going to just line my lips quickly with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I really need to sharpen this. Let's see if I can make it work. So I've just lined my lip and I'm blending it out here. So this product in particular is something that I also have been using a lot lately. It is Chanel's Longwear Lipstick. And this is the color Endless Pink. It is a sheer buildable longwear color. So I'm just going to focus on putting this on for a minute. I'm actually also going to layer this color on top of it. This is called Light Brown, which is a sheer mauve color. Just because I was feeling like this is a little bit on the pink side and I wanted to make it a little bit more neutral. So now that this is set, I am going to add just a touch of the lip gloss that is on the other end here. I just like to add a little bit of this because I want to add some hydration to my lips, but I don't want to add a lot of shine right now for this look, I think. All the focus should be on the eyes. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm really excited to be back doing makeup tutorials. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out if you wanna see more tutorials or leave me a comment of what else you would like to see and I'll see you guys in my next video.